just get my wee sleep. <clears throat> Sneeze a wee sleep. Am I waking you up, Peggy? You tired, you? Right. You get a wee sleep. You're so cute, well. When you lie down and get your wee sleep, wee mat after dinner sleep now. That's not the same as the caravan, is it? Like, but oh, you have to make do. You have to make do. I'll give you a wee hour or so, and then we'll go back in again. That's a good. I'll, I'll not know you no more now. <clears throat> you see, when you're sitting, just people watching, watching life go by, the sounds and all, and you, you, you often wonder, <clears throat> you just wonder, like, that red pickup over there, that's a pretty expensive machine. There's your man walking down there with a cowboy hat on him and a toddy top. He'd probably pay big money for that toddy top, but it goes with the image of the, you know, the country, you know, out and out back, you know, driving the machine there. And the two of them were sitting on the tailgate. That's, that's very common in America. In America, and Americans go out and they go to car parks, only car parks, and they sit on the tailgate. And they have a picnic. And they had the wee worker basket and all, so they had proper wee worker basket and all, wee tablecloth and all. The two of them sitting on the tailgate, and I couldn't tip them like. But then you look at this poor man over here. His wife must like carry bits and all. He's there this last half hour, he is pissed off here like. But he has to wait on the wife. That's what love is does to you like. He was sitting at the back of the car, now he's sitting on the bonnet. He's tried every. There's not many panels in the car he hasn't leaned against. But the wife, maybe the daughter, they're on there enjoying themselves. Now you think this would be a place a man wants to come. He does not want to be here. He's bored. But you watch people just walking past, bringing the wee pictures and things they bought and all that. Like, so a little woman likes to have a wee hour of sleep. Well, I'm talking now, so I'm, I'm annoying her now. She likes to have a wee hour of sleep. There's still entertainment to be had, like. I'm getting as much entertainment. Sitting in this car, no internet. I've tried the internet. If I had the internet, I wouldn't be watching people with wicker baskets. But no internet. So what? What else can I do? Like, you have to make your own entertainment. But like, if you just look around here, this is the type of wee fair. Like, I was just thinking there. Um, there's an i Ford Escort in there. I didn't mind that as a win. It's the first car we ever got. There was more rust in it than there was that car. Well, the different times and all. Yeah, there was always bits falling off it and stuff like that, but uh, a horrible back seat. Oh, yeah, arse. You know, people today do not know what it's like to sit in the back of a Ford Escort. Yeah, you know, all these ones being romantic having a girl in the back of a Ford Escort, but that was still a school, like, there was no romance in the back of our Escort. It was just sheer, sheer pain and agony. That's, that's the best way to describe it pain and agony. And yet, but going back to the days with car sickness, like, roads weren't as smooth as they are now. You know, the brow of a hole in your stomach went the way up, like. And like, we weren't well travelled. We went up the Korean Mountain, our ears popped. Every time our ears popped the Korean Mountain. Now I can do the Glenshian Pass, the ears don't pop at all. You know, we're more accustomed to vehicles. But I was just saying, like, these cars in this car park now, 15 years time, when everybody's, when all this car park is full of battery driven cars, some of these cars have been behind that fence on display with the combustion engine. Why is it becoming to see the combustion engine rally? Rather than the steam rally. It's funny how the world changes, isn't it? 